blockchain technology or in particular in computer protocol is really game changing. It can do stuff that uh, like traditional technology cannot do. It solves like this whole data sovereignty, digital sovereignty problem can be solved. I think a lot of people sort of have given up on that already because it presumed very hard because there used to be all their data to just anybody up in the cloud providers. The Internet Computer Protocol, actually, you don't have to do that, right? It can be in control. The primary message here is that you can reclaim data sovereignty. It's possible for, for enterprises. It's AI helping and users to, you know, like build the applications. They can actually build their own applications. Again, they can deal with their own, you know, code if, if they want their own data. So it's a, really a game changer also here, like how AI can, can help. With all, all the, I guess, negative press sometimes about AI, people being afraid of it, but it really has a lot of good side. It really puts power into people's hands that before didn't have that power it's really important if you want to have like sovereign data sovereign digital identities but the internet is by itself already decentralized in a good way everybody sees everybody else's data right if you put the data on chain then everybody sees that if you do blockchain transactions everybody sees that so so I guess it's in some sense it's like really the opposite from from what we want from like privacy, digital sovereignty. On the other hand, actually, I mean, if you think about secure systems, uh, the only way you can really build secure systems is like this kind of technology, not have a single party in control. But that doesn't mean you go fully out. It just means you have to distribute it over sufficiently many parties. And they're, of course, independent parties. If they're all the same party, then they're not. It's not decentralized, right? It's just, again, centralized. That's like one of the... Uh, uh, very important aspects here for 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 decentralization. If you build like a compute system on that, actually, I mean, you can run it like as an enterprise. You could run the protocol on your own servers where you control that yourself. You have you have sovereignty over your own data. You're, you're in control again. It uh, avoids all the difficulties of traditional stack where actually your system admin has like control. Cyber crimes are actually insider attacks, and so you can completely avoid them. On the other hand, also, it allows now users to just have their data, their code on the internet. And because the protocol has all these controls in it, and on the internet computer, you can also encrypt data. So actually, you can put your data, you can put your code on on the internet. And so the, the internet now also will be compute, secure compute, available to everybody. Of course, you cannot use the same technology also uh, as, a, as a government, right? You just have a couple of data centers where, where, you, where you put machines and then you, you run the protocol on those machines. Now you get the same security guarantees also as a government, like as, as a state, sovereign state, as an enterprise. Everybody can do that. So it really is like a fundamental shift how you build systems. Current IT infrastructure, an evolution of uh, like a single machine on a single desk, right? And then the people were new, even thinking about that, but then certainly they got all connected and they talk to each other, application talk to each other. But it was never designed to be like that. Traditionally, it has become very hard to actually manage your, your infrastructure. So as a small state, you wouldn't be able to afford that. So that's why you had to use cloud infrastructure and then like turn over your data to American, Chinese companies at, at the end of the day, right? And so now with a protocol like that, everybody can actually afford that. You just buy a few machines. Like You want to have like four at least because otherwise you don't have this sufficient replication. So you, you need to have four machines, 2,000 bucks per machine is already sufficient. And you don't need to have a, like a large budget, right? And, and all the rest is taking care of the protocol. AI will help you write applications. So I think it's really a game changer here how these uh, systems work and what they can achieve.